Hello and welcome to episode 143 of Vokta Gaming. I am your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain. We are here with game two in our fantastic TVT series between these two players. First up is our Purple Terran, successful yesterday in possibly the best play I have ever seen out of him in his entire career. His name is Fnatic Alive. And he is up against, of course, one of my favourite Terrans, going down one game already in this best of three. He's going to struggle. He's going to have to do some hard work today. His name is Marine King Prime. So, this is on an IPL map, Sanshawn Mists, that I know nothing about. I think I've seen one game played on this by MVP, and that's pretty much it. It has this interesting little ramp here, um, or interesting platform here with the ramp down to it. You can sit some siege tanks on there, and a catch a player coming up here. It's, it's, it's very interesting. Of course, it can be used by Reapers to get up into the main base. Uh, Reapers, something that used to be around in TVT, but we have not seen in a while. So, I think today's going to be interesting. Marine King Prime going gas before Barracks. So, we're going to go straight into a factory. Meanwhile, Alive doing it the other way around. Barracks first, then a refinery. So, could be going for a tech lab, or of course, he could just be going for a slightly uh, more delayed factory. Of course, this is... A little bit safer getting the barracks first. Means you get the barracks earlier. As you can see, it's going to finish before Marine Kings. So you will have like a one Marine, maybe a half a Marine advantage. It's not a big thing though. It's at the point where I'd rather get the refinery first. To be completely honest, to get that factory out much, much quicker. Look at that. Marine King Prime already building the factory. Ah, and like I said, uh, he's in fact going for a tech lab build. So this is interesting. Uh, depending on what he gets, will change his strategy. If he gets concussive shells, obviously he's going Marauder. But if he gets combat shield, he's going to be defensive in the early game. Try and take a second base uh, very, very quickly. If he gets Stim, he's going to be very, very aggressive early on. Holy crap, a Reaper! Well, what did I just say? It's been a while since we've seen Reapers in TVT, and we are about to see Reapers right the hell now. So, I guess the interesting thing is, what is this for? Is he going to make a ton of Reapers? Is he going to do some early pressure with that? Or is he just going to make one or two and use them for scouting? Now, we do have Hellions on the way. And the thing about Hellions is, Reapers kill them one-on-one. -on -one. Obviously, Hellions can micro uh, much, much better than the Reapers can. But, of course, Reapers can jump up and down these uh, uh, ramps to escape. And, oh, Banshee opening from Ranking Prime. I've been looking at the starport for ages, but did not actually look at what it was. So, we have a Banshee opening for Ranking Prime and a Command Center uh, with two more racks. So, Alive this time, going to go that heavy bio style we saw out of him last game. That did work well. Here comes the Reaper now. And he's definitely going to get the scout off. He's going to do a bit of harassing with it. Kills a couple of SCVs, and now the Hellion comes and forces the Reaper to escape. Will it get out? No. See you later, Reaper. Reaper dies, and ooh, he did not scout with that. He doesn't know that starport's there. Does he? Did he scout the front of the base? Nope. He has no idea what Marine King Prime's doing. Now, we saw that one gas up, but of course, that's the same one gas that he's got up, so he does not know that this is Banshees. Of course, he did see the Hellions, so it could be wise to presume that he's going Banshees and get some kind of defense as it is. He's bunkering up at the top of his main ramp. So this command center not going to be able to fly out and land it just yet. Interesting, I think this ramp here is uh, just slightly wider than your normal ramp. So I think it would take two force fields to block that. Um, so that's certainly an interesting part of this map. As it is, once that bunker's up, uh, Marine King Prime's not going to break this. Does have the Banshee though, does not have Cloak. Uh, and I think he saw the Banshee yet. Yeah. Okay, so he knows the Banshee's there. The Banshee is not being targeted, however, the Hellions are being targeted. And now the Hellions are out of range of the Banshee, so the Marauder has to leave. And of course, it needs to be really careful here. <laughs> He's going to lose those Hellions, but of course it's all about the Banshee. And Banshees can kite Marines that don't have Stim. 
Uh, interesting choice to attack the army here rather than attack the SCVs. I've heard it said, in fact, quite often that because of mules, it's actually better to kill a Terran's work um, army supply than it is to kill his SCVs because you delay that push. Now, Rinking Prime is building a second command center. So while it's behind the command center of a live, he will have it at the natural before him. And now here comes a few worker kills. Very nice. Oh, but there is not enough room for the Banshee to escape. So down goes that Banshee. But that's okay. He did a bit of harass. Let's see what he got with that. Ah, killed four workers. Not the best. But he has forced an eBay. The question is, does he force any kind of turrets? No turrets going up yet. So nice reaction there from Alive. He is going to get plus one attack. He's getting stim now. Yeah, what time will this hit? Uh, you've got to assume he's going to wait for plus one before he goes in and attacks. And by then, siege mode is done. Now, Marine King is pushing out as well here with his first tank and a Viking there for vision. Of course, he doesn't have siege mode yet. So he wants to be careful here because uh, he's not going to have stim. In fact, yeah, not bothering with stim whatsoever. So probably not going to do anything too severely, Bio. We shall see uh, whether or not... Okay, I think a tech lab now, so maybe... Going to run a tech lab here and go double upgrade stim and combat shield at the same time. We have two more barracks there now for alive. We have a starport going down. So probably going to be for medevac since he seems to be going this heavy barracks style. Going up to five barracks. Uh, building a lot of supply depots at once. Really uh, paranoid about being supply blocked. Needs to be very careful that. Obviously it's so easy to do when you have five barracks. And of course when two... Already have reactors on. It's very, very easy to get supply blocked accidentally. And Stim is on the way for Marine King. So we have this tiny little push now from Alive. Going to sneak around and into the second base. We do not have any siege tanks at home yet for Marine King. That could be a problem. But Marine King is pushing out and siege mode is done now. So we're going to siege up outside of here. Push him with his units. Now, what will Alive do? Alive, will you go in the base? Will you go home? That is a good... He's going in the base with Stim. He's going to get a ton of worker kills here. But Marine King Prime is going to take down his second base. That's going to be huge. <coughs> Excuse me. So, the second base is going to have to be floated for Marine King for now. But he does have Marines. He's pulling SCVs. And meanwhile, the second base, it looks like he's actually going to die. For a life. And Marine King is up in the main base. Whoa, we need to be careful there. There's a lot of SCVs being pulled. Alive's unit's forced to retreat now. And Marine King's units are going to get killed, but at what cost? Losing loads of Marines here. Ah, he does repair that command center. So it does survive. Let's take a look. See, Marine King still with 26 workers killed to 15, and 49 units killed to 40 overall. So, uh, even in supply. Take a look at the units. That is 10 more SCVs though for Marine King. But now he is 6 supply ahead. So there you go. It, the army value is going to get pretty even. As of course Marine King gets more and more out. Interestingly he is going for the uh, Marine tank style. Over the mech composition we saw in the previous game. Uh, Marine King much much more comfortable with the, uh, the bio mech uh, mix here. With marines and siege tanks. Now the trick to this is trying not to lose too many of your siege tanks. Plus one weapons does finish for Marine King. So we will be back on even upgrades for a while. Plus one armor is on the way for Alive. That's going to get done uh, first. But combat shield on the way for Marine King. We do not have that yet. Interestingly for such a... Oh no we do. Okay why did I not see that? Anyway uh, there's a drop. Okay yeah it's the, uh, the combat shield. Don't know why I didn't see it on those marines before. Let's take another look. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, guess I'm just going blind in my old age. Siege mode finally on the way for alive, but that is very, very late. Uh, marine King definitely has the siege advantage. Now the question is, will Marine King continue to be aggressive? Or will he sit back now and try and defend, maybe get a third base up? That is the question. He does have a slight supply lead, but again, it's probably entirely in SCVs. I imagine Alive has the army composition. Yep, there we go. So Alive does have the army advantage. But of course, with Siege Tanks with Siege, you're going to do more damage than uh, a solely bio player. 
who uh, does not have any tanks out here at the moment, and of course does not have Siege yet. Siege will finish, but he does have that tank deficit. In fact, does he have any tank? He has one tank building, and he has one tank already. That is it. So, oh, really nice attack here. For Marine King, he's sieging up. Siege is now done for a life. He needs to siege that tank up. Oh, if Marine King could have picked that off, that would have been devastating. As it is, oh, lovely scan there from Alive. He's going to take down these tanks with his own siege tanks. But he's losing all of his SCVs yet again. Marine King just stimming in here. Going to take down the tank. And now Alive is super in trouble. And again, the second base goes down. Half of Alive's army was away doing a drop. He's forced the second uh, away. In fact, killed the second for the looks of it. But lost his own second. So that is no good because Marine King Prime is ahead. Now, he does have plus one defense to his bio, but there is not enough bio there. The plus one defense does not help when you are getting splashed by siege tanks. Plus one defense, uh, plus one armor up on the way for Marine King's bio now as well. But it is behind. Now the siege tank is going to have the range advantage. Yeah, needs to be careful with those marines, but ah ha ha, with the medevac there, has vision of that siege tank, it will go down. All of Alive's bio is dead. Marine King absolutely subbing out. Alive has this tiny amount of units left. He does have the two medevacs. That will win him the day here. But he is so far behind now. And look at this. More bio just streaming across the map for Marine King. With one siege tank. Alive is dead at this point. Uh, they're both trapped on one base. But that doesn't matter. Uh, Marine King Prime is about to end this game. Just 100%. There's no siege tanks on the way. He has one siege tank, that siege is up, Alive can't attack, game over. Here come all the SCVs now, they're going to die, watch as this siege splash just kills everything in its path. 29 SCVs to 12, 19 Marines to 4 and 1 Marauder, game over for Fnatic Alive, guaranteed. More bio coming up to join it here, the siege tank is rescued by the medevac, really nicely done. Going to siege up outside of the main yet again. And there's just, there's just no SCVs. Like, you can't continue to keep pulling his SCVs. Because eventually they will all be dead. Like, right now. Okay, he has no SCVs left. There goes the GG. Marine King Prime wins the day. Really nice aggressive style. More of what we are used to from Marine King. Obviously not as exciting as yesterday. But really, really nice play from MKP to take down Fnatic Alive. Uh, just Marine King, Prime, uh, Marine King Prime playing his normal style. And succeeding with it. That is about what you expect when these two players meet. I will be back tomorrow with game three. The final and deciding game. And we are going to see. Can Alive take it? Or will Marine King Prime show his prowess once more? Thank you very much for watching. I have been your host. The vocal terrorist Jesse Rain. This has been Vokta Gaming. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all tomorrow.